lionfish right here, huge one. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing some diving. It's been a while since we've hopped in the water, but I got the bucket, I got the nets, I even got the dive gear and the GoPro for you guys to come along with us underwater, see all the invertebrates, all the aquarium fish, and if we end up catching something cool, you already know we're bringing it home for our aquarium. This is going to be it. Let's get into it. So right here we got two nets. What we're going to do with these is take one of them to direct whatever it may be, an invertebrate fish, into the other one. So then we close them in like this, come up, and we got them, and then into the bucket they go we got an aerator on the bucket so if we do catch anything it will go right into there and stay alive for a couple hours until we find out what we're gonna do with it there's a lot of stuff at this bridge this bridge is known for its diving there's octopus there's exotic aquarium fish a bunch of invertebrates coral banded shrimp arrow crab big starfish I mean you name it it's here so we're gonna get everything together get the GoPro on and head in the water bring him up a little we're not gonna take him out of the water because it's not good for them but you're gonna see how beautiful this starfish is look at that insane Nick 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 right here bro huge lionfish lionfish right here huge one get the net get the net sitting right there on the rock holy cow huge lionfish hurry up you gotta get the net before he goes under the pilot no way bro that thing is massive he's going behind the pilot <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! My god, Brennan, that is a monster. Look at the size of this lionfish we just caught, guys. Literally, right here. All, he was sitting in between this piling and this pipe, and we just caught him. Brennan swatted him out from out of water, which is pretty rare. Usually, we see him like hiding in caves. He was right out, and he must have been feeding or something on little shrimp or little fish, but we got him in the net. Let's get him in the bucket. Let's go! Boom, monster line. Look at the size of that thing, dude. That thing is a monster. That may be the biggest lionfish we've ever caught on this channel. And I mean, he was sitting right in the open there. Brennan spotted him. I was out there looking for invertebrates. Brennan spotted him, came over, took the two nets like I showed you guys before, and we got him. So right here, we, this was unplanned whatsoever. We came out looking for like invertebrates and little aquarium fish. Every now and then we'll run into big lionfish, but it's really, really rare. So right now, what we just did is extremely rare. We're not going to be eating him today. We're going to be taking him home for a 3,000 gallon saltwater pool pond. And he's going to live another life in there. I'm out of breath, dude. I've been swimming all around looking for invertebrates. I didn't find any. I saw a lot of fish. And then Brennan was up here filming and ran into that big old lion, or this big old lion fish. And we got him. We did it, boys. But we do want to get him home and acclimated into our saltwater pool pond. Like I said, guys, you cannot release these back into the wild. When you do run into them, you have to either kill them or take them home and put them into one of your aquariums or whatever it may be. Today, we're not going to be killing him. We're going to take him home, give him another life, and see how he does in our saltwater pond. What a crazy day. But we are finally back home. Got our line of fish in this bucket right here. We got our 3,000 gallon saltwater pool pond. In here we got our condos ready. Big bumblebee grouper. We even have some other lionfish. And then we have little stingrays, cleaner wrasse, and then for snapper, and then a big blue and yellow cock. This thing looks amazing, and I do have some big news coming pretty soon. So right here, got the drip line. We're gonna put that in the water, and then boom, just like that. Then we'll tie a little knot to slow it down a little. It's been 30 minutes, it's time to add our lionfish into the saltwater pond. We already have two of them in there. They're doing awesome, so we should probably just school up with those lionfish. Lionfish are known to school together, so I'll probably end up meeting them, and schooling with them, and becoming friends with them. But I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get this guy in. That is a monster. We've gone out and caught lionfish, nothing even close to this size. And that's a big old lionfish. Here he comes. Look at the colors on him. 
Look at how pretty that fish is. Now these fish are very, very venomous, so we cannot touch them or anything, because if you do, you'll probably end up in the hospital. Don't want to keep them out of the water too long, so here he goes. Let's see how the, all the other fish introduce them. Boom, he's in. Right into the cave he went with the bumblebee grouper. Once he gets used to the pond and everything, and he knows where his surroundings are, where he is. Also, guys, comment down below a name for our new lionfish. Something crazy. Gives you a hint, he's a lionfish, so maybe like uh, Simba or something. Comment down below and let me know, because he's going to be a big part of the channel, all our lionfish, unless we just name them as a group. I think that would even be better because there's three of them and they kind of all look similar, so you might not be able to tell who's who. So if you guys know a group name for a lionfish, comment down below and let me know. We've got our cow nose right in here, just strolling the pond, doing laps around it. We do have a lot of pumps in here, so it's always pushing a lot of water. Look at this, look at this. Our three cleaner rats are on our moray eel and our blue and yellow cod. That moray eel we actually caught in our 24 hour fish trap. He's doing absolutely awesome in the pond. Got our three cleaner rats going through the rocks, cleaning off our eel. I think it's so sick. It's literally like a little ecosystem in here. We got hermit crabs, we got starfish in here. We got little coral banded shrimp, cleaner rats, and then the big fish, of course, and eating stingrays. Woo! What a crazy day, but we got the job done, boys. Saltwater pond is doing awesome. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see with the pond, comment down below and let me know as well. Our lionfish is actually right there in the cave. I don't know if you can really see him. He's right under that rock, right there. All the eels, all the stingrays, all the fish are doing awesome. I do have some big news also coming. I can't say it yet, but when one of these upcoming videos, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing with the pond. Maybe things are gonna get a little see-through on us. You know, instead of seeing a plastic tarp, you may be able to just go down here and see the fish from an underwater view. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think the next big thing is gonna be. I just gave you a pretty good hint, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But with that being said, that wraps up today. We ended up going out looking for invertebrates and ended up catching a monster lionfish. Brennan spotted him out. It all happened in like the craziest time because I was in the water diving and all I hear when I was under the water is Nick, Nick, Nick. So I come back up and Brennan's pointing at a lionfish telling me he saw one. At first I kind of thought he was messing with me and then I walked over there and saw the lionfish just sitting on the bottom. Went over there, took the GoPro and we ended up catching him successfully. So he's now in our salt water pond. I'll keep you guys updated on him throughout this whole process. Happy that we were able to give him a new home rather than on a frying pan. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below. That pretty much lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and we will continue making more of them for you. I absolutely love entertaining you guys and doing videos like this and I know you guys do too. So with that being said, see you in the next one. See ya!